Right, okay, welcome to the ABS diagnostic problem. Mark 2, uh, <laughs> or part 2. In my last video, I worked out a way of testing the master cylinder and the brake booster by blocking these two holes here. Now the problem I was getting is that the brakes would creep down. You know, you pull up on a set of lights or, you know, you're just sitting somewhere in traffic or something and the brake pedal will just slowly, slowly creep away from you. Now, the brakes still worked. Um, the brakes still worked properly. Everything, you know, functioned. Uh, would stop very fast. The ABS and the traction control would still work. Now, those two lines, um, I'm not sure whether one's a feed and one's a return or whatever, but what I think happens is when the ABS activates, say for argument's sake, it's this one, the pressure goes down this one, goes across to the ABS block down there, which then controls if it didn't, the hydraulic pressure. If it senses that one of the wheels is locking up or something, it opens a valve and it sends it back through the line, back into this one, which then pushes the pedal off a little bit. Now, I blocked these off and the creep stopped, which meant that the problem had to be further down here, which led me to this. This is the ABS unit. Now, I'm sorry that I haven't taken the photos when I'd uh, taken the video when this was all undone, but I got a replacement and I've changed this. Now, I've got the replacement here and I'll show you. There's the replacement I got. Now, you can see the block there. There's the part number on it. Let's give you that part number. It's very, it seems to be very different for a lot of cars. Now, a new one of these is very, very expensive. So I got one off eBay for under £50 and thought, right, let's give it a try. Now, one thing I will say to you is this is the ECU for it, which controls all those little solenoids. Now, let's give you the part number on that as well. You should be able to see that, I think. There we are, 8619538. Now, I'm led to believe that these are coded to the vehicle, to the ECU. If you replace this, you'll have to then go on to the Volvo Vida, soft, Vol 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 <laughs> the Volvo Vida software, as a mouthful, and pay to get it, this ECU coded to your car. What you do, what you can do, is you can just use your existing one. That sits on there, if I can just put that back on there. It's very easy to get these off. It uses four of these little, they're called e torques I think this is an E5, either E5 or E6, I'm not sure. But there's four of them, they go in there. So use your own unit, unless it's faulty obviously, but for the same fault as I have, I don't think it would be. These are not talked up very tight at all, literally just a, just, a, just above finger tight when I did it. So, took that unit, replaced it back in there. Now what I had to do was get the air box off, which meant, you know, disconnecting this and, and this and the rest of the stuff, undo these two bolts here so I could lift the fuse box out of the way and just to give me a bit of access to it. I'll see if I can get in there a little bit closer. There's a metal mountain plate. It has three torque screws on the top, which, which are in rubber bushes. There's one there, one around the back of that motor there, that uh, the thing with the white label on, and there's another here. I wonder if I can just... No, you can't quite see it. Those go down to a mounting bracket, which sits onto the chassis. Now, if you loosen, there are three bolts, one at the back, one down on the side and one at the front here. Now you can get at the one at the front very easily. You can just take that one out, no problem at all. The one that's down on the side, just loosen it slightly. And the one that's at the back, just loosen it slightly. That will allow you to pull the unit forward with the mount and it will then come up and lift out. Obviously what you need to do is you need to get all these hydraulic lines off. And what I did 
start here and then work my way down this way so that you could just pull the lines out of the way and get onto them and get them undone. Something that's very, very important when you're putting this back together is don't cross thread these fittings. They're very, very easy to mash the threads on. If you mash the threads in that block, that's a very, very expensive replacement. But so get those back on. Once you've got those back on, everything's all in the right place. Slide it back in, connect it all back up and it should work. One thing I will just show you on the other one, on the control unit itself. There's the motor plug that goes into there. And obviously there's a plug which goes loom that comes from the car. And what you do with it, there's a cover that sits over, sits over here. And you lift it up on this side. There's a little catch just on where my finger is there. There's a little catch, uncatch it. And then it twists this way. As it twists this way, it slides a lock, which engages on these little lugs on the side here. And then you can just work the plug off. Um, might be worth cleaning that up, giving it a bit of switch cleaner or something as you go and the rest of the stuff. There are the three mounting holes on the top, two and three. And that goes to just a pressed steel bracket, which goes down and mounts to the chassis of the vehicle. These have a tiny little um, rubber bushings with a very small Torx bit on them. What I had to do was loosen the bracket, move this slightly one way, then I could get onto these, get these undone. And I was able to take this off without taking the bracket out in all in one go, because I don't think it would have come out in one go, but it came out without the bracket attached, okay. So we did that. So we just move this out of the way. Get rid of all my little okay. You can see my LPG injectors there. Alright. That's just gone down there, hasn't it? Come back in a minute. Okay, so obviously when you put it back together, this line and this line are the two that come from the master cylinder. Now the whole point of this video is <coughs> so that you don't replace the master cylinder like I did and that costs a lot of money there's no need to if you test it as I did in my old video you can then try obviously your brakes your you know your discs your calipers the pads check all those things are okay I knew mine were okay but I checked them again anyway the problem is that somehow this valve block this ABS unit is leaking it's allowing fluid between these two to travel back to the master cylinder and that's what makes the pedal creep away from you now the only thing i would say is i was lucky i managed to get this one from an ebayer in lithuania it took quite a while to get here but it cost me less than 50 pounds a new one was well over a thousand pounds and i couldn't seem to get a definitive price the other thing was the part number for my particular vehicle and i seem to get this a lot with my car there's the part number of the the actual component there you can see it there it is in black and white but on volvo vida and various other sources no this is not the abs unit for your car well it is it's now fitted it's back in the car and i'll show you the result okay so here we go again let's get my leg out of the way can you see that down there you can Excuse me, brake pedal, and there we are. If I put lots of pressure on it, yeah, there you go. That's not creeping at all. That's it. He doesn't climb back up, it's all bled perfectly. I used a pressure bleeder, one of those CD pressure bleeder kits to do it. My brakes are now working. Like I say, they did work in the past. Um, the, the ABS worked, the traction control worked, everything worked, but the pedal just went away from me, went away. I see I'm really putting loads of pressure on there. And that's it, that's, that's, it's not rock solid because brakes shouldn't be rock solid, but that's now reached absolute maximum braking, and that's it. So it was definitely, definitely that ABS unit 
which was at fault. So hopefully you won't change your master cylinder and you'll save you a few pounds like I wished I had done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up would be nice. Cheers then.